we should call on the Nigeria police to commence the immediate arrest of these impostors across the 23 local government areas of our dear states. I want to bring to the notice of this house once more that I am in receipt of the Supreme Court's judgment, which was delivered on the 11th day of July 2024, Mr. Speaker. This judgment totally abolished the so called Kiatika Committee, interim member whatsoever name that was given. This document, this judgment, has abolished what they call caretaker committee. Mr. Speaker, by your leave, may I lay this document as a working document at the table? Please The posters, sorry, are apparently in a sense as Catholic committee chairman and members in the 23 local governments. Mr. Speaker, this worries me because this house has in 2023 amended the laws of local government in the state, directing that only elected local government officials shall be the ones responsible for local government activities. Mr. Speaker, to what it also is, and why the committee is bothered, is that on the 11th of July 2024, the Apex Court, the Supreme Court, gave a judgment, gave a judgment granting the autonomy of local government, whereby it was stated on ambiguous that only elected local government officials shall run the affairs of local government, which River State is among the local government, the states involved. I'm calling on the security agents, agencies for the police, to go after these people, to ask them to stop them from parading themselves as illegal ethical committee members. And they should stop the paramount rulers, traditional rulers, chiefs, Youth bodies, market people, women and men should stop dealing with them because they are impostors. Then radio stations, TVs, print media, and etc. should stop regarding them as Ketika committee members. That's because sometimes I ask myself, if River State we are part of Nigeria, that will come out to be the law. So what am I saying in this sense? I want to call on the governor. The way he called them out, he should obey the law and call them in immediately. And I will put it to the house. I will put the question so that we will vote one way or the other. First, that we should call on the Nigeria police to commence the immediate arrest of these impostors across the 23 local government areas of our dear states. Secondly, that we are going to call on all banks, government at all levels, residents of river states, all those doing business in river states, foreign embassies, all traditional institutions, even non-governmental organizations, everybody to disregard and immediately call the attention of law enforcement agencies whenever they see these impostors parading or moving on the streets in these states, asking for money, disturbing our market women in the markets, or disturbing our people in the motor parks, or asking people to pay rates or levies to these individuals. They should immediately report to police 
or other law enforcement agencies. Honorable members, finally, that this House is insisting that only elected people, only elected individuals are permitted to run or manage the affairs of the 23 local government councils in River State. Those four, 21, against, nil, abstention, nil. Honorable members, by this voting, we have agreed to all that we have resolved this morning, and that stands as the resolution of this 10th Assembly, and we want to mandate the House Committee Chairman on Information, the Honorable NME Alabo Judge, to ensure that this resolution gets to Rivers people by way of a public notice immediately. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>